Um, of course, Biden's very angry at uh, Saudis and OPEC Plus for cutting oil production. The, it's much too simple, way too simple, to just uh, turn the spigots back on here. I know that's off the table. That would be way too easy. But I'm interested in your take um, uh, as a senator and also as an attorney. You've got all of these Democratic ideas to retaliate against uh, OPEC. Uh, break up the cartel. I don't understand anything. Break up the cartel. Uh, bring them to the World Trade Organization. Seize their assets. I mean, what is that stuff going to do? I mean, again, it's way too easy. The simple solution is to just turn the spigots back on. I get that. But what does this stuff amount to a hill of beans? Look, this is this is unfortunately just demagoguery. Uh, and where Biden and the Democrats are is they realize people don't like paying seven dollars a gallon for gasoline. And so they're trying to change the topic. So Biden's tried to demagogue gas station owners. He said, you know, gosh, it's just the gas station owner. Of course, gas station owner doesn't set the price. He, the gas station owner is a price taker. They're small business people. It, the idea that you're demonizing, often they're immigrants who, who own a small business and he decides, let's make them the bad guy. You know, the other bad guy he likes to, to point to is he says the oil companies. Now, listen, oil companies are greedy. Yes, all companies are greedy, but the, the, the hypothesis he has is that the oil companies apparently weren't greedy under Donald Trump. They were charitable operations. They were the Salvation Army. Look, of <laughs> course the oil companies want to make money. That's why you have free enterprise. What drives their prices down? Competition. When, when gasoline was $2.38 a gallon, it wasn't that the oil companies said, well, we don't want $7. It was that supply was greater than demand, and so it drove price down. Biden knows that but doesn't care because he's counting on number one, his voters to be ignorant and not know, and the other voters to be misled by the dishonest corporate media. And, and I, I, I got to say, what should we be doing? Number one, we should be producing at home. The cap capacity, the Wall Street Journal has a great editorial talking about if we'd simply continued with the new drilling, we could be producing, America could be producing as much oil as Saudi Arabia, as much new oil as a new Saudi Arabia, and as much new natural gas as a new cutter. That is massive. That's how you change the geopolitical chessboard. But I'll say with the Saudis, I, I mentioned that Biden alienated all our friends. He's alienated Israel. He's alienated the United Kingdom. Whoever is a friend to us, he's alienated Brazil. He's alienated India. But you look at the Saudis. The Saudis want to be friends with us. Biden has gone out of his way to attack them, to block weapon sales to them. Biden said he was going to make Saudi Arabia a pariah. Mm. It's idiotic. Mm. And not only that, Biden is bending over backwards to give Iran billions of dollars, allow them to have nuclear weapons, which the Saudis are afraid the Iranians will use against them. And so it's no surprise at all that Saudi Arabia, after Biden has insulted them and ridiculed them and demonized them, said, go jump in a lake. We're going to cut back our production. If you actually had a sensible foreign policy, you would be treating your friends well and your enemies badly. Biden does it the, exactly the other way around. Well, that's a radical view. Treat your friends well. That's a terror. That's a, almost as radical as turning on the <laughs> fossil fuel spigots. Let